I'm a big essential oil person, and before I, we started ordering from Organics, we um, used a different company, you know, but if, I always tell people, if you can read it, and if it says um, for external use only, don't buy them, because uh, most of them you can ingest. So we started using, putting one under, it changes, under your tongue or above, on the roof of your mouth, but I was like, either way it goes in. Um, and then the peppermint and the, the we use it, I use it for headaches and, and it really, really works. I diffuse them, I ingest them, I put them in my water. Um, sometimes they're hard to, you know, non-soluble, but I put them in my water, I put peppermint on my hand with the Jehovah oil and I just put it all over my chest and my back and yeah, lavender to sleep, so it's they're really good. Well, we would do. Uh, like with the frankincense, we would um, diffuse it, and then we'd rub it on my wife's temple for the peppermint. But anyway, when folks would come over, friends would come over, we would notice, the ch uh, they would notice the change in us. Because when they would come over, when we didn't have the diffuser going, you know, like I said, me and my wife, would be kind of, she would be a little more agitated. Me, I would be like nervous and things like that, and just, just dealing with the whole pressures of it. But as soon as we um, have peppermint on, people would come in, they would just, see the difference we'd be all a little bit more mellow you know my wife is a little more relaxed and you know i just felt good you know and then when they come in they all felt good even if they had problems suddenly we're all just having fun talking so i saw the difference when you diffuse essential oils and i also saw the difference when my wife would put it on her and me i think you know i, I used to ingest it we didn't she, we didn't have her ingested at the time because going through chemo it lowers your blood uh the blood count and there was a lot of things that were going on with her so we didn't want to have her ingested at the time just until we were really comfortable about it and what I liked about organics is I, the smells. Because when you smell different oils, you can kind of tell the difference. Because I tried different brands, but I really liked the, and my wife loved the peppermint smell. And when you t it smelled like peppermint. It's almost like you had a piece of candy. <laughs> you know, so it was like, but even though it is, like, hmm, you got some candy? No, it's peppermint oil. You know, that kind of thing. You know, even with the orange, you know, it smelled like orange. You know, and some of them it smelled kind of medicine-y. I carry my organic essential oils everywhere I go and I keep them really handy in a purse or backpack because anytime I'm out I want to be able to smell my lavender that's my go-to smell and usually from yoga class they teach you they have two sinuses so you sniff in one and sniff in the other and I do that three or four times because uh, the deep breathing and the lavender I just feel so grounded when I finish and I I don't I don't feel like anything's hitting me like a water the water off a duck's back that's how I feel when I finish having my smells. And I won't go to bed with all my lavender in my diffuser. That's like my ritual, brush the teeth, put them in the diffuser, get it going. Um, then when I lay down, I, I could always tell when I'm facing the diffuser because I could smell it. And if I turn away, I'm like, oh no, no, I need more lavender. It just made such a difference. Currently I use it, um, I mix it with the coconut oil and I put on my feet every night. And the peppermint I use on a regular basis in a diffuser, especially during like pollen season uh, for my sinuses. I use that right next to my bed. I use the peppermint and I use the eucalyptus together. And I also do the, a lot of the peppermint, um, sometimes rub it on my chest, and then I'll also do it on my, the bottom of my feet. So yeah, I love these. I absolutely love the essential oils. The frankincense is my favorite. This is like golden to me. There are so many uses of it. Um, what I like to do is I put a little bit on my feet at night before I go to bed. I diffuse it quite a bit. I put it in my baths when I'm taking baths. And just the, the relaxation, the mental clarity that you get from not only frankincense oil, but just a lot of the essential oils, period. Just the mental health, the mental clarity, the you know, the relaxation and, and all of that kind of stuff that comes from using essential oils, I benefited from this way because it gives me time to de-stress. It gives me time to, you know, relax into my day and, and just, you know, give, get a perspective on what I'm doing with my life, with, you know, my health. I do trust organics because um, it's a company that, from doing our own research um, and from hearing other people um, other people speak about organics, not just personally, but also on, online. You know, you can get a lot of um, feedback online from customers. So I trust them because I know that they're real for once. I know that they're USDA certified and I don't think you can just put a label on something 
um, that is not going to be, you know, certified and there's documentation that is going to prove that they're certified. Um, other companies, not that I don't trust them, but when you find something good and you find something that works and it has a history um, of other products and other research they have done, you just kind of, you know, loyalty. You stay with who you trusted previously and you stay with who you trust and the products work for me. They worked um, with my energy, they work with the way I feel, they work with, you know, the, the weight control, they work for a lot of different reasons personally and in my body and in my family. So we found a lot, you know, a couple of good companies. One of them is more based on pro profit than anything. The oils are great, but what as um, Organics has been making more essential oils, you know, we're starting to switch over because we know, we want to number one sort of support organics because we know that you're about people, you're about helping us, not about making the bottom line, not about dollars, which unlike a lot of industry, you know, they want, hey, what can we do to trick people into making more or uh, buying more? In this case, you actually want us to be healthy with the food, with the supplements. And what I like is it doesn't break the bank. <laughs> you know, I live in San Diego, so the prices are high, cost of living is high, so, you know, and I, I see that a lot, a lot of folks having to make a choice. You know, do I want to live, you know, be able to drive a car, have a home, or do I want to buy something, a supplement or something that can help my body? And you know, sadly, we have to, and a lot of folks have to make that choice. And what I like about organics is you, you give me that option. I don't, I can do both. You know, I don't have to make this choice or that choice. I can actually find the balance and still be able to buy something that will help my body and also help me live longer. And then I could, you know, help others. Organics definitely produces supplements that I do trust. <laughs>